CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.2, Given a Scenario, Troubleshoot Common PC Security Issues. In the last video segment, we focused on tackling common Windows OS problems. Now, let's dive into PC security issues. Like before, we'll go through the most common symptoms, explore likely causes, and walk through troubleshooting steps to help secure your system. This time however, we'll tackle security issues that could not only disrupt your system, but also compromise your data. First up, let's discuss network access issues. If a user can't connect to a network, start by checking the network cable connection. Sometimes the smallest issues, like a loose or disconnected cable, can be the culprit. If the physical connection is fine, take a look at firewall settings, as they may be blocking access due to security rules. Also, check IP configurations and network drivers. These components play key roles in maintaining secure network access, and a simple misconfiguration can often disrupt connectivity. Next, let's talk about OS update failures. An unpatched system isn't just inconvenient, it's a security risk. Failed updates can happen due to network issues, corrupted update files, or even malware interference. If you experience this type of failure, start by clearing the update cache to remove any corrupted files and ensure the network connection is stable. Additionally, since some malware is designed to block updates intentionally to keep your system vulnerable, Run a malware scan to ensure nothing is interfering with your ability to perform updates. Now onto a bigger red flag. Altered files. If users report files that are missing, renamed, or changed, it's often a sign of malware, such as ransomware or a virus. Ransomware is particularly severe, as it encrypts files and demands payment for their release. Meanwhile, viruses can be equally disruptive, corrupting, deleting, or altering files entirely. Both types of malware have serious implications for data security. Start by running a comprehensive malware scan with reliable antivirus software to identify and neutralize the threat. If ransomware is detected, avoid engaging with ransom demands, as paying doesn't guarantee recovery and only encourages further attacks. For lost or encrypted files, restore from secure backups if available. This situation underscores the importance of maintaining regular, reliable backups to defend against data loss. Now that we've covered altered files, let's shift to alerts and notifications. Alerts can come in many forms, and while some serve a legitimate security purpose, others are either annoyances or outright threats. To troubleshoot effectively, it's essential to understand the differences between desktop alerts, unwanted notifications, false antivirus alerts, and random browser pop-ups. Each type of alert has unique characteristics, and knowing how to respond to each can help you better protect your system. Let's break down each type so you'll know exactly what you're dealing with when one of these threats comes knocking. First, let's talk about desktop alerts. These usually take the form of user account control, or UAC alerts, which are security prompts that ask for confirmation when you make a system change or install software. UAC acts as a gatekeeper, double-checking that you're aware of changes that might affect system settings or security. If you're installing a new program or adjusting settings, a UAC alert is doing exactly what it's supposed to, keeping your system safe by ensuring you authorize any major changes. One key point to watch out for with regards to UAC prompts is unknown publishers. When a UAC alert appears for software from an unfamiliar or unverified publisher, take a moment to double-check before granting permission. Unknown publishers can sometimes be a red flag for malware or unwanted software, so it's always wise to research the program or source if you're unsure. In these cases, when in doubt, it's safer to cancel the installation and verify the program's legitimacy first. Next, we have unwanted notifications within the OS, which usually take the form of push notifications. These come from applications, websites, or even adware. Think of them as digital junk mail, with alerts ranging from offers and updates, to warnings, designed to make you click. Some are legitimate, but many are generated by adware or malicious software. To tackle these, run a full antivirus scan and consider using anti-adware tools to remove unwanted programs cluttering your notifications. Now we will move into some more risky territory, and address fake antivirus alerts. These are scams designed to trick users into thinking their system is infected. 
they'll often display alarming messages urging immediate action, which often leads to malware being installed, disguised as a legitimate security tool. If you see these kinds of alerts, run a full antivirus scan immediately to identify and remove any rogue programs. It is also beneficial to educate other users on these scams so they can recognize and avoid them too. Lastly, there are browser pop-ups. If these are appearing randomly and frequently, adware or a browser hijacker is likely at play. Run a full antivirus scan to identify and remove any malicious extensions or unwanted programs causing these disruptions. And remember, avoid clicking on unfamiliar links or pop-ups as these can direct you to harmful sites or install additional unwanted software. Another browser-related security issue involves certificate warnings, a critical security feature in your browser. These warnings often appear due to expired certificates, misconfigured websites, or even an out-of-sync system clock. If you encounter a certificate warning, the safest course of action is to navigate away from the site immediately and exit the browser to clear the session. Also, don't forget to check the system's date and time settings, as incorrect settings can trigger false certificate warnings. One last browser-related symptom to look out for is redirection, which occurs when your browser unexpectedly takes you to an unintended URL. This is often caused by malware or unauthorized alterations to the host's file. To address this issue, start by verifying the URL in the browser's address bar is correct. Then, Follow this action up by checking the host's file for unauthorized entries. If you are not familiar with the host's file, don't worry, I will cover that next. The host's file is essentially a local directory for your computer that functions as a simple plain text file, mapping domain names to IP addresses. Before reaching out to a DNS server, your computer checks the host's file to see if there's already a known IP address for a specific website. Typically, the host's file is used in network administration to manage local network resources, but it can also become a target for attackers. By modifying the host's file, malicious actors can map, and therefore redirect, legitimate website URLs to harmful IP addresses, leading unsuspecting users to phishing sites, malware downloads, or other threats. To safeguard against unauthorized changes, it is a good idea to regularly review the host's file, restrict its permissions, and ensure users understand its role in network security. The symptoms we've discussed are just a few you may encounter, but new vulnerabilities are always emerging. Therefore, the best approach is to stay alert, keep your security tools up to date, and never underestimate the creativity of malicious actors. With a proactive approach, you can keep your PC secure and respond quickly to any new threats that come your way. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.